as well. So I wanted to put a couple of benefits that um, the, of why someone might want to join a professional association or join a trade association. Um, I want to put a couple of those in front of you just um, from my own um, insight. So the here's uh, benefit number one of a professional association. Uh, if you're changing careers or industries, joining a professional association, it allows you to really link arms uh, with other professionals. So kind of like what I was sharing with earlier, if you're someone who has been in one career field for a long time, and now you're trying to you think about your transferable skills, think about, you know, trying to learn about a new industry or learn about uh, something, uh, a new career field, a professional association can really help you um, start to uh, connect with professionals in your newly chosen career field and do that really, really quickly. Um, a lot of times, for professional associations. Now, it'll depend on the specific group you're looking at, but a lot of times these specific groups, um, once you become a paying member, um, a lot of times that will give you uh, the ability to attend conferences um, or w online webinars for your specific field or for your specific industry. Sometimes some professional groups will also, uh, for paying members, they will have a, a connection to a connection to uh, specific online publications and things like that, which, you know, you can read articles about the, your specific field, your specific industry, or the, the new field you're trying to go into. And that can really help you get connected um, faster with other professionals who are doing a job you'd like to go into or who are working for a company you'd like to work for. Um, it can really, really help that a lot, um, especially with networking with other professionals. I wanted to also say, too, I know that sometimes depending on the professional association or the trade group that you choose to choose to become a member of. Um, sometimes uh, one of the benefits for paying members in a, uh, in, in a professional association is that they give you access to their member directory and that can kind of help you as you are, you know, may, maybe you choose to look through that uh, specific directory and you choose to kind of help, you know, do some, do some informational interviews or learning kinds of interviews about uh, from a professional who's working for a specific company that you'd like to work for or who's doing a specific job that you're trying to build your skills in so that you can, you know, move into that. Um, that's a really good benefit of our professional associations, the uh, chance to work with professionals. Uh, another benefit of uh, professional associations is that a lot of times for uh, individuals who are currently uh, a college student or going back to school, um, someone who might be in graduate school, or even if you are a professional who is retired, a lot of times professional associations can offer a discounted rate. Um, whereas, you know, uh, so that might be a discount on your yearly membership for that association, which is great. Um, so that can make the bar of uh, paying to join a professional association a little bit easier um, and something really uh, to think about. So uh, we talked about a couple other benefits of uh, professional associations. Um, let's, that's just to get you started. There are a lot of other ones there. I know I talked through a few there. So uh, after the break, we're going to keep talking about uh, professional associations. But um, after our break, I'm going to talk with you more about what should you be looking for um, if, if you're trying to join a professional associations, and then also um, how can you get started. So stick around. You're listening to the Work With Purpose podcast, and we'll be right back.